guys and welcome back to my channel it's Teresa and today I have a DIY for you I am going to try my hand at the floral hoops so we're gonna go ahead and try that today I'm gonna show you the materials I'm using and uh, we're gonna get started all right so today I am at Hobby Lobby and I am here to get supplies for the floral hoop that I am going to be making. Here we are. Pick it up for mama and show the camera. Good job. And here is where I got my hoops. So they are called embroidery hoops. They come with two layers. So I did wanna grab two instead of separating the layers just for more strength. They are 23 inches in diameter each and each hoop was $7.99 as you can see. And here are my supplies. So I actually wound up not using the spray paint just because um, that was just in case, but the moss was nice and thick. I did use the wood glue, the glue gun, glue sticks, and the scissor. Here I am tightening the hoops, just screwing that screw a little bit tighter, just so that it has that security where both hoops won't separate. So I changed the video on my phone real quick just to give you guys a closer look at um, the backing. So it has this netting on the back which makes it a lot easier to put the glue onto the wood. I originally placed the wood glue on the white piece just because it was going onto the wood. So I put that one on there. It does seep through a little bit but it's not going to be bad because it's already textured. And then I did the hot glue for the back because it cures faster. So it'll have a strong base from this netting to the wood with the wood glue and then the hot glue to wrap it. This is the rest of the roll. I have that one piece done. I'm gonna finish this whole thing. Okay, so I have one fourth of the wooden hoop left to do. Um, just this little part left to finish so I can go ahead and complete the whole thing. Well, it's going to take me four strips to go ahead and cover this entire thing. The last strip I'm gonna have to trim just a tad bit because this piece is, a, is not long enough to fit the entire fourth piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that now and then um, I've already pre-cut four more pieces for the next hoop. And once I trim this last piece for this hoop, then I'll go ahead and trim one on that side too, just because they're the same size. So I know it's gonna be the exact same situation. So I do still have a good bit of this moss rollout for the actual seat. I know for a fact that I was able to do both of these hoops with just that one. So I'm glad I only bought one. I was, I was tempted to buy two, but I only bought one. But yeah, so we'll go ahead and go into cutting this piece to finish this hoop and move on to the second one. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm okay with it overlapping just a little bit just so that this wood piece isn't showing. Um, the actual wood hoop isn't showing. So I cut it just a little bit bigger than I would need it. So I've got this strip cut. I'm gonna go ahead and cut one of the strips from the other side. That's going to be the fourth piece as well for the hoop. So because they're the same size, it should be the exact same measurement for this other piece. Now we're gonna put this last piece on. Go ahead and secure it down and then start working on the last loop. Once we finish the last loop, then we will work on the little bench. Here what the finished hoops look like. I'm definitely loving the way they came out. The moss looks fantastic on there. And the technique, once I got it down packed, it was extremely, extremely easy. And here are the remaining pieces from that moss roll. And it's more than enough for me to do two seats. clamp on it and it is positioned so that I can go ahead and put the little seat part in but right now I'm just letting that dry it may look weird with me putting post-its in between um, but that's just to shape it so that it has that that kind of triangular barrier I did it for my other dream catcher and it worked perfectly Sorry for the lighting, it's nighttime here and I'm just trying to finish it up. The next part we're gonna work on is the seating. So I want to put two kind of like cardboard panels in there. I do have a good bit of this moss left over. This is the remaining piece for uh, from that one roll that we got. So all I did was cut a big cardboard piece from um, my Ikea doll bed. I have a tutorial coming for that one as well, so please stay tuned for that. But I went ahead, since I'm not going to be using the box, I went ahead and cut this large piece off so that I can cut it in half to make two seats, like two pieces, one for the top and one for under the hoops to kind of reinforce it a little bit. I would say use something cardboard or stiffer for the seats just because you will have somebody either you will have a baby laying on it or you will have a child sitting on it so you do want it to have some resistance to weight so i wouldn't suggest anything that happens to be flimsy compared to this i'm going to go ahead and cut it in half start gluing the pieces to here i am going to use the wood glue again just because it's a really secure uh, bondage so right now we're going to go ahead and put the moss on the seats And here was the last step. 
This was just me blowing the seats down. I used my studio clips to hold them in place and also used the wood glue again just because I love how strong it is and I'm really happy with it. So please like this video, subscribe, and leave us comments and can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.